Pew, pew. Huh? Ah! <laughs> well, hello everyone, and welcome to an early access build of Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. Today we're going to be doing a campaign on the new Imperator Augustus campaign pack, and we're going to be playing as Egypt. So many thanks to the Total War team for allowing me to have this early access build. Now, as this is early access, the things you see on the screen in front of you are subject to change, uh, but I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I've uh, been looking forward to this expansion since its announcement, uh, and it's really great to actually be able to play it a little bit early. Uh, and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching this as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. So this is set during the second triumvirate, uh, and we're going to be playing as Ptolemaic Egypt. Um, we're going to be keeping it as hard, start year 42 BC. Uh, as you can see, there are a fair few factions in this campaign. And there are four Rome ones, so you've got Lepidus' Rome, Octavian's Rome, Antony's Rome, which we are a client state of, and the son of Pompey's, Pompey's Rome, essentially. But we're going to be focusing on Egypt in our campaign, so let's do this without further ado. I'll click start. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. Well, that was clear, and Patra. How will bloodshed Quite a sexy save lady. the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. Except we're leading Egypt, not Rome. But I figure that is cutscene play out because it is quite nice. When their moment has come, I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. I also do really like the music here. Yeah. Man, you must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. To survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Egypt's present may be a pale imitation of its past glory, but its future greatness is in your hands. You must restore your ancient holdings in Africa and the East. Your greatest ally in this endeavor will be the Roman general Mark Antony. Well, I do believe he deal with the ever he's with Cleopatra at the minute, so enabling you to turn and dispatch the troublesome I would hope that he's our ally. nomads to the West. While Judea and Nabatea remain Antony's protectorates, East mm -hmm. Africa and Arabia will be yours for the taking. Oh, okay. However, be ever mindful of Lepidus lurking in the west. Oh, I will if be. I'm not going to trust down, that guy. He may seek to add Egypt to his African domain. This must not be allowed to happen. Ensure that the champions of Mart are ever victorious. Okie dokie. So, our first objective, control eight settlements, either by direct ownership or through satrapies. Satrapies, their military allies. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the state of our forces here. So we've got Ptolemy leading the Ptolemaic dynasty. Um, we can't secure a promotion at all at the minute. No matter. We've got also got Georgios and Hypatios. And that fella. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, so this will be the new screen we have here. The new, uh, well, political screen. So, we're not at the bottom, but there's a long way to go to reach the top. Okay. Very well. So, in terms of armies and forces, what do we have? We have... 600 men... So, yeah. Yeah, you can see why we're a client state, if we have this kind of military force. Right. 
first things first, I'm going to send my spy down, see if we can scout out my enemy. Here we're going to... Hmm. Expand the city and construct a muster field because I think the troops that I can get starting off. Oh, I can no, I can get quite a lot. Maybe I already have a muster field built. Do I have a muster field built? No. Okay, I don't need that. I instead I will get a consecrated ground. I don't need to raise an army. We're going to have Ptolemy lead a lot of forces here. I think I'll focus on getting a couple of citizen cav. Maybe some Egyptian slingers. And we'll go for a unit of pikemen as well. Here, I think all I can really do is, yeah, get get those, which isn't which isn't great. We do have an entire province that we control, so we can do an edict. Okay, and let's have a look at the diplomatic map. So Antony likes us. You're nice and friendly. And it's a shame we can't see the other... Hmm. Other Roman factions at the minute, but I'm sure they'll come into view at some point. But right now we need to focus on getting and expanding Egypt to a great power once more. So we have a little force down here, which I could go and attack there, but I don't really think I need to. Right, so we will build that. These little icons have changed slightly, I think. That might have been done in a previous patch and I just haven't realised. Um, right. I'll leave that army as it is for now. I just want to focus on probably building up my public order a little bit. In terms of food, I'll probably do a bit more food as well. Will that affect public order? That won't, so therefore I'll get that. Here we can get gathering place. So it pretty much is just one read well, one province and this. Okay, and that's controlled by Antony's Rome. Very well. Okay. Ready for battle. I will upgrade the No, wrong wrong screen. I will upgrade the No, I don't want to disband them at all. Cancel that. Oh, I have zero money left. I'll save that until next turn. Okie dokie. So they want a peace treaty, however I want to expand here in Libya, so I'm going to reject that. And keep up the war. Right. I'm also going to take this time to mention Will Overguard's hair. It really does look fantastic. I mean, if you haven't seen it, check out a rally point because it really does look very good. Ready for orders. He also told me to say that. But it is pretty fantastic here, nevertheless. Um, right. So, we're going to get on and get, probably get... Uh, oh. We're probably going to stick with pikes. Come. Nice, solid... Oh. I recruited the wrong... No, I didn't. No, no. That's what I wanted. Um, and can I recruit another unit of cav? We can... Light cav, I'm not a fan of. Camel spearmen, I'll probably just go for another unit of citizen. And another unit of slingers. And then this army will march out of Alexandria into the enemy's territory. And we can't really do anything there except spy and see where their armies are going to come from. But soon the eagles of Zeus and Ptolemy will be ready to march. It is going to be fun to see how everything breaks down into a huge civil war that I'm just kind of on the fringes of, although I'm sure we will, help, we will get involved. It's going to be exciting stuff. Okay, so, we'll march this army down. Let them like and that does not look good for Alexandria, so we will raise another force. I'll see if I can get something from our that's other families, other families, other families, and other families. Okay, so I can't get anything from my own. So we'll just get this fella. And you, sir, can have African war elephants. We fight. I want hourly patrol. 
Okie okay, dokie. Okay. You, sir. I think we may be able to get... Yes. I will get some mercenary elephants. Our income is pretty dire. So let's see if we can get some trade going. Do you the honor of listening to... And I found that in this build, uh, the... Welcome, friend. Diplomacy Welcome, seems to be a bit fairer than before, but then I am Egypt, so I do have a lot of resources that people the might want. To so, speak. But that's good. Good, 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 good. Lots of trade, and that'll bring in a few, an extra few hundred every turn. So you can't complain about that. And once again, oh no, I don't, I need to start researching. Hmm. I feel like I want to get that so I can get a workshop, so I can get Ballista, and then actually be able to take some Glory walled cities. Could be yours. Take I'm sorry, it who? In open battle against these people. Uh... We would stand with you. See, so you're demanding me to declare war against them, and I really don't think that I want to. Oh, but you know what? I I tend to be a bit reckless in these campaigns, so you know I'll, I'll support my ally. Oh, aggressor! Oh my! Okay, I guess I enter the war on the side of the ally. <laughs> oh man, this is going to get interesting quickly. There is much merit in a treaty between us. Sure, I have no plans to expand down there yet. I you want a peace treaty? I don't believe in that. Alliance broken. Okay, so that's the, the triumph. That's the triumph very gone. Okay, we'll send this fella down here. That is Ptolemy, isn't it? Yes. And let's go scout out their army. Oh, not much of one, but. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake there. We're going to lose money on that every turn. So what if I disbanded some troops down here just for the mid... No, I should have to disband all of them, and I don't really want to do that, so I'll get rid of one unit of elephants, because all oh, their upkeeps is... That's just, that's just too high. So I wasted a bit of money on elephants, but then... Eh. So, Antony... Hmm. Seems he has Carthage as his capital. Okay. Oh, and it's winter. Although I don't know why there's snow there. Okay. So, hopefully, we'll attack Ammonium next turn. And we can show off some of the combat changes that have happened. Not that it's going to pose much of... Oh my god, that's going to be ridiculously easy to take, isn't it? Is there any point in me fighting it? I would probably say no, because... Yeah. Okay, you will see a battle this turn. Rest assured that you will. Uh, I'm going to attack them. Oh, they are recruiting. Okay, Ptolemy, you can have plus one authority. Commander. Hmm. So we only control 43% of the council. And it just doesn't really look... <laughs> the It doesn't really look like a civil war is going to break out anytime soon. So that's good. Hopefully Anthony doesn't betray me or anything. Oh, he's actually sending down a bit of an army. Thank you. We can always do with more forces. Although I imagine he wants to turn Cyrene from Lepidus. Hmm. Okie dokie. Unhappy populace in Libya. They'll get over it. Um, this will probably cause a rebellion <laughs> if I do attack this settlement, but I'm going to go for it. Let's see if we've got enough money. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be competent. Let them like dogs. Yeah, so there probably will be a rebellion there, but that, that's fine. 
We don't need to worry about that, do we? I mean, we do, but... We do have forces to deal with a small rebellion, at least. Mm. Let's try and get some civil stuff going. Because I would like to increase the size of my economy. Admittedly, if I got rid of those elephants, I would have a lot more money than I do right now. But I like elephants. Although they're not going to replenish where I am at the minute, so... Rebellion imminent in Libya? Fair enough. That's, that's fine. Um, they will see the advantages of my rule soon enough. Oh my gosh. We hunger for battle. Um... Okay, if I can get a military sabotage. They will never know I was there. Oh my god. How how did you level up by failing? That's not what happens in life. Commander. Gerd. Right. Well, let's see. That looks unlikely that we can win. So let's do it. <laughs> Oh dear. So they don't really have any cavalry, so I do have that to my advantage. Uh, they have a unit of chariots, but I've got a unit of elephants. And the battle should last a bit longer. Um, I do have a lot of units of slingers, so I do have the advantage there, because they have two units of archers, which I don't believe have the same range as my slingers. They also have three units of slingers. <laughs> Lots of tribesmen. Dry suits me fine. Okay. So here is Ptolemy. I really hope he doesn't die. So I'll have to try my best to prevent that from happening. I'll probably form my infantry up on the desert there. Ready for on the desert? We are on a desert. Oh, golly gosh, Alex. Ready. Battle group ready and so we'll group them orders. together. Group you fellas together. We'll go for a bit of a flanking manoeuvre on this flank. Riders, and the chariots can help protect this flank, Elephant along with the elephants, which I will probably charge in and cause some Riders havoc. So, here we are. Outnumbered. Our troops, I would hope, would be slightly better. Than what they can, than what they filled it. So let's see. They have more chariots. Okay, so I am attacking. So I imagine they're going to wait for me. They're already bloodied. I'm not sure how. Okay, so they could envelop me if they wanted to here. So I'll have to do this carefully. Quickly now! Or at least, you know, careful for me. General. Yes, Commander. So they have positioned on this flank their Numidian cavalry. Mm. So the only ability we have is Inspire. Just speed this up, see if they choose to do anything. So I really don't want to have to attack them. If any of you are new viewers, then you should know that I hate attacking. <laughs> it usually does not end well for me. However... I'll give this a go. Quickly now! <laughs> At speed, citizen cavalry. Elephants and ready. Chariots. Okay, so you can all start firing now. You can start getting into position. So please start firing. At least kill some of them in a volley. Yes. Ready for battle. So I imagine by the time 
Have the elephants gone berserk already? Are you having a giraffe? Okay, so let's see if we can cause some havoc here. Uh. Uh. Mistake, mistake. Let's pull the cab out of there. 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 Although we did start to get a few units to route already, which is a positive. Um, the elephants, you can just go into trample mode, do whatever you like. You, you, you did what I wanted you to very well, so we'll keep trying to move the cavalry round. Okay, so I would hope that these pikemen should kill these levy spearmen. And missiles can keep on firing. Please lower your pikes. Please, for the love of gosh, lower your pikes. We need to get a cab in now to take out their slingers, otherwise they're going to wreak havoc. Unless I can get them down firing. Oh good lord. Elephants! You're still... Mm -hmm. Standard. You cavalry shall have to... Fend for yourselves, I fear. Okay, so we've managed to split up a lot of their troops. Which is what I wanted to do. He says, confidently. Okay, so I think my pikeman should win out the day here. Attack. I know he's under attack, I sent him in there. General Probably not against elephants though, oh good lord. Citizen cavalry. Forward. Um. Forward. Orders, oh, the elephants have stopped going berserk, okay. The enemy general is dead. He is? Citizen cavalry. Sweet. The unit of cavalry has been absolutely decimated though. At the ready. Slingers! Fire! Ready and Okay. Pretty confident I can send all of these in against them. Oh, the Numidians are going to wreak havoc there. But I think we may have this in the bag. If I can just keep applying pressure. The battle is turning in our favour. Okay, so my pikemen can keep on holding out against the Numidians there. Bring in our cav a lot. What are you doing? Okay, so the Slingers are taking fire from my Slingers. That unit of Citizen Cav is completely annihilated, but they have done what they need to do and held their men Our in position. Men flee the field of battle. This is a I probably should have taken them out of skirmish mode. Okay. So I imagine that should go fairly well. Yes. <laughs> Just tore through. General, Our oars are set. Okay. So they're shattered. Everyone seems shattered and running away. They unit of New Midian Cav. Our men flee them. We're going to continue battle. slightly. This is um, a I feel that we did well there. No, I imagine there are things we could have changed, but overall, didn't go too shabbalilily. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to catch the other chariots, so I'll end the battle there. Close victory. It was. We. Oh man, I lost 400, but they lost 1800. So, you know. Uh, the only unit that took a huge amount of casualties was that unit of Cav. Oh, and a unit of slingers. A couple of units of slingers, I should say. Bish, bash, bosh. Is that all? I don't know why I released them. We hunger for battle. I guess I'm feeling merciful today. Um. 
Right. I may withdraw into my own territory to recoup. And then in part two, you shall see me, hopefully, wiping out the Asimonies. And yes, I pronounced that incorrectly, probably. Oh, we actually got down as a pretty decent battle. Nice. So, I hope you've all enjoyed part one. Uh, thank you once again to the Total War team for giving me early access of the new campaign. Um, and do remember, it is still in early access, so things can and could change. So, until next time, everyone, I bid you good day.